Namaste folks. Today we are going to discuss Sutra number 15 from Samadhi Pada. Before that we will get blessings from our Gurus. Okay. Agnana Tumrandasya, Jnananjana Salakya, Sakshu Unmulitamiyana, Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha. So Sutra number 15, please repeat along with me. Drishta Anushtravikka Visaya Vitrish Nashaya Vasigara Shamga Vairagyam Drishta Anushtravika Visaya Vitrish Nashaya Vasigara Shamya Vairagyam Drishta Anushtravika Visaya Vitrish Nashaya Vasigara Shamya Vairagyam So in earlier sutra we have discussed about Abhyasha here we are discussing about Vairagya. Abhyasa and Vairagya are the very two important things that we as a yogi need or we as a human being need to practice to perfect ourselves to achieve success not only in spiritual life also in material life. In the early sutra we discussed about how Abhyasa. How to do Abhyasa? So, Panjali Makarisi asked us to do Abhyasa for a very long time. If you remember, he asked us to do for a very long time. Without any break, without uninterrupted practice needs to be done. And the practice needs to be done with love and devotion. This thing. Practice to be done for a very long time. Not even a single day needs to be break in between. Every day we need to practice. Second thing, uh, second thing is we need to do with love and affection, with love and devotion to our practices, daily practices. It might be practice or it might be the work, it might be the learning. It applies to anything material or spiritual. This Abhyasa and Vairagya is not only for spiritual, it's also for material. If you apply this to your material life, anything or any object, you will succeed. Definitely. Dictum. So today, we are going to see how what Padanjali Magarishi is asking us to do to achieve the highest state of Vairagya. He is telling out uh, very important things here. Like Vairagya, as you know, it is detachment or dispassion. So he is telling Drishta. So we should uh, not to discriminate what we see, drishta I means drishti, eyes. So, what we see from that sense. Second is anushtravika. So, what we can hear, or we need to we need to be able to know to discriminate what we able to hear, or what we read from scriptures. So, what we know from scriptures or from mentors. So, we need to be able to discriminate the right and wrong between uh, the hearing also or reading also. So. Here, Visaya means objects. So, here, whatever objects we are see, are we able to hear or able to know, we need to able to discriminate. So, here, Vitrishanasya means one who control over the desires. Vasigara means mastery. So, Samya means consciousness. So, if you see, this is a beautiful sutra. Uh, last two sutras are very, very beautiful to understand and implement in our life. So, we know that sense object, all the sense, all the five sense objects have the, is always defectful. It will not able to satisfy us. So, Vairagya is a mastering over that craving, carving for what is seen or heard. So, we need to achieve that Vairagya. So, that it, that is, Vairagya means it is the mastery of the sense objects. So, how we can able to do that mastery is what Pajali Magarishi is telling all about. There are three things which we need to be careful about in our life. Even the big uh, saints, uh, even the big uh, yogis or Magarishis have fallen down when they they are not taking these three things very serious. First thing is woman, woman or opposite sex. Second thing, food or drinks. Third thing is power. Woman food and power these things needs to be handled it in a very proper and very sensitive way if, if if these things can make any yogi even at a higher level to fall down very easily so uh, here uh, Padanjali Magarishi is saying there are uh, five different uh, stages 
of uh, how we discriminate okay discriminate and divide so first stage is yatamana that is striving it's a beginning stage where we can able to recognize our material world external what we see we can able to see learn we need to understand their limitations uh, we can understand whether we are attracted towards it or not attracted towards that material object we can able to rationalize things we can able to rationalize people so all these uh, we are able to know create the awareness this awareness creating stage is the first stage which is yatamana where the small level of discriminatory knowledge has already been raised the we people has become aware of what is proper thing to do and what it is not so it is not possible to control all the senses at once but one should attempt to control them one by one to achieve mastery over them the second stage is vaitireka that is second stage is stage of separation in this stage one learns to distinguish between what one can able to control and one cannot so we know the weakness of everyone one may be weaker in eating taking food or may be drinks or may be with woman or may be with power the status and everything so we need to understand our own weakness then only we can able to work out become master over that and we can able to win over that so by thoughtful control one burns away the desires which obstructs the chitta's movement towards the soul so for self realization the second stage is very very important where we know the weakness so that we can able to achieve mastery of that weakness also the third stage is yagandriya yagandriya that is single object single internal object so once we had with the weaknesses when we had controlled all the weakness and we made all the five control over all the five senses but this mental things will continue there will the outer external object we can we 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 can able to control but then the problem comes internally so that like a pride ego prejudice jealous still it is in the mind so that mind wants to play dual role it it is full of desires which is sense the with, with the senses and lot of uh, past impressions has been stored in the mind so so we ha- we need to practice one pointed effort we need to make uh, a practice abhyasa in under our control to uh, we need to do lot of sadhanas so and what is the fourth stage it is vasigra that is a final stage of mastery here all types of ordinary desires have been overcome one is full of discriminative knowledge but still we are not at reach the nirodha state the mind does not stop functioning it has gained knowledge but still they might be interested in it so then comes the final stage which magrisi is revealing to us is para vairagya this para vairagya is the highest form of renunciation it is free from this will make us free from all the three gunas may it sattva rajas or tamaguna and attaining this state the 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 practitioner ceases stop to be concerned about himself or even others he stop comparing anyone stop thinking anyone stop thinking even ourselves and stop thinking ourselves in the pleasure we, we stop everything so this is a state of nirodha and one what will what will make us achieve only with para vairagya we can able to achieve this state so how how one what does one need to know to reach that vasigra stage at least so the last stage one who has conquered this all kind of desires we can able to achieve vasigra stage the mind and the senses are in control and this is the last stage of ordinary vairagya one has one once you cross this stage then para vairagya come so we need to withdraw attention from our sensory world because what has experienced through the senses draws the individual towards it again and again multiple time so we need to withdraw with all these things so we need to allow our impressions to stop we need to uh, stop controlling our fluctuations we need to stop cra- cravings towards each objects or each food or drinks we should not allow any desire uh, to stop our uh, achieving our goals so each and everything we need to be aware of it only with complete awareness complete nityananda we can able to drop this and we can able to achieve paravairagya state very very important that's why i am again concentrating on this fourth state 
the first stage is a very difficult stage to cross once we crossed it then we will definitely achieve the para vairagya stage so the, here, there are some practical uh, things that we can do on daily life like we can do mindful consumption as, as i told before we need to do everything with awareness when we are eating we need to eat the food with awareness slowly each by bit we need to taste water slowly so that we need to understand and sink into that uh, habit of eating a habit of drinking we need to have uh, create awareness what we are doing how what is the taste what is the smell we need to focus each and individual thing that's a first thing mindful consumption is a first thing so uh, once you know we, uh, each thing so we need to able to control the cravings or attachment towards that also so you need to develop this ability mindful consumption is a first ability which we need to develop then then is a self and this is an internal process, self inquiry so we need to take some time sit some time maybe daily 15 minutes just do nothing just sit and think about yourself who am i why i'm doing this so you need to understand uh, what is your weakness so you need to take a journal i advise you to please maintain a diary a journal please record anything uh, anything that you are doing that is not under the control so work out on a daily basis so each make it a habit to do that on daily basis so that this each future so each character will become a habit once you create a journal once you create a self inquiry then you can able to uh, understand the root of your uh, cravings and then you can able to release them one by one so this is a special technique self inquiry daily spend 15 minutes uh, after meditation just simple uh, like summar so ramana magaraj is say summar just sit quiet and just reflect on you who you are what whatever it is just reflect understand and maintain a journal okay and and gratitude you need to develop gratitude okay uh, focus on the things you already have and practice gratitude for them this can help shift our mindset away from what we like and appreciate what we already have we need to uh, make sure we appreciate what we already have we should not always think of accumulating we should be contented with what we have this is a powerful yama nayama you need to be contented you need to have sandosha you need to be happy in whatever we have you need to be happy in whatever we have so that gratitude needs to be there you need to thank everything for what we are now so then another practice is letting go letting go of things so whatever is not happening just let go something comes in the mind disturbing you let go let go keep st- uh, thinking let go like that is a practice uh, in, 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 in southern uh, tamil siddha practices that is called uh, su- uh, suddhi practice where it's a letting go practice any when you during meditation anything comes you need to uh, let go let go let go let go you need to let go of the thoughts like that we need to let go whatever thoughts that is coming to our mind that is disturbing you from growing so we need to focus only on positive things which will able to give us growth negative things let go let go let go then the thing is the next thing is we need to remember that non attachment is the same as indifference or apathy so it is a state of being where you are free from grip of cravings and desires by cultivating non attachment we can experience a greater sense of peace and contentment in our life when the mind is no longer disturbed by the object of perception it becomes still and this stillness is known as attachment so uh, so we understand what vairagya is what padanjali magari is asking us to do so uh, there are it's, it's not so easy to practice so we need we can we come across lot of even the bigger signs who fall down Uh, from not following this uh, vairagya all don't we have seen in media we have seen in the news channels and different uh, saints even now we have a lot of saints in uh, we are seeing in daily life who is not practicing uh, this vairagya and fallen down so we should take that as an example not everybody is perfect don't set a rule that they he is guru and another person is guru the bhairava is us we ourselves is a bhairava if we practice ourselves we can become iswara we are iswara realizing that iswara is what we are doing that's why is bigger magaraj is like patanjali uh, agastya everybody is helping us to make us understand and realize the true self who we really are okay so we need to practice this in our daily life okay so uh, yeah, the a bird cannot fly with two wings it needs two wings these two wings are what patanjali magaraj is saying about the two wings one wing is abhyasa another wing is 
what we have said today. So abhyasa is practice and vairagya is renunciation. Both abhyasa one wing and vairagya another wing is very very important to reach and achieve the highest spiritual goal which is kaivalya. Not only the spiritual world, if you are a material person, because in this world, in Kali Yuga, we also need the material success. To follow the spiritual path, also need to say, if you are a karma yogi, if you are married, you need to follow the path to do your karma. Karma of the so Mahapalai Sukh Krishna says, to follow the karma. So, for that, we need to have money. To achieve money also, to achieve what we... Uh, so these practices can be applied no wrong in it when you are good when you are good in following sadhana you, you can accumulate wealth in good way and spend charity donation uh, to uplift other uh, lower uh, human beings to come up and make uh, the scriptures available to everyone when you are when you are growing you can make your family your society also to grow along with you same thing applies to the spirituality also. When you acquire this wisdom, share it with everyone. Okay? So, you have to practice daily. Yes, Palanjali Mahara says you need to practice daily without any break. By cultivating the detachment, the paravairagya, we can develop a sense of inner peace. By abhyasa, by regular practice, with love and detachment, love and, love and devotion, with regular practice, for a long time with love and uh, devotion and vairagya, para vairagya, and with para vairagya, with strong detachment, we can able to achieve inner peace. Okay, by this we can able to achieve the inner peace and become young yogi, perfect yogi. So I encourage you to explore the practice of detachment in your own yogic practices and see how it can help you on your path of self-realization. Also, uh, feel free to comment to me, reach out to me in LinkedIn, search Namnit Krishna. I am ready to help you. It's Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.